All right, this is a cowboy I did with the steer. I was uncomfortable with the steer because it wasn't quite working for me as far as my eye went. And uh, I love this piece, but I wanted to keep working on this. And what I'm thinking of doing is having the horse spooked by a jackrabbit going past here. And I'm thinking about putting, bringing up the clay here a little bit and uh, having that jackrabbit going right across here. And that's what the cowboy's looking down at. I don't know if I want to keep the cowboy at that position because I might rise him, raise him up a little bit uh, as far as his body goes because uh, you can't really see the action of his face or anything like that. It's all hidden by him looking down, so... These are all things I'm going to have to work out uh, as I work on this, but uh, this is what I'm thinking of doing. I'm just working out the idea right now, and uh, we'll see what happens. Jackrabbits in Texas are two feet long from tail to nose. Time to play with some clay. Ears are 5.16 inches. Unbelievable. All right, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if it'll work, but I gotta try it. Because the idea that I had on this piece wasn't working, and it's been sitting on the shelf for uh, quite a while now. And it's time to get it going or get it got done. Okay, I'm gonna heat up a knife on this uh, flame over here. <sighs> it's always scary to do this, but sometimes you just gotta. Okay, I'm gonna cut the cowboy in a wedge out of his body so I can move him. This clay is pretty stiff. The oils tend to run out of the clay after a few months. It's not unworkable, it's just harder to work with. I'm gonna cut down and take out the wedge. There we go. not going to affect the uh, proportions of the cowboy. It's just going to affect his angle. I'm going to take this hat off. That works better for that. Oh, I damaged his, the horse's eye at some point. Now yeah, it's easy to fix. All right, I'm gonna probably put his hat on his head. Uh, I just think it'll look a little more interesting that way. I've done a lot of cowboys with their hat on the back of their head, but. Uh, I think I'm going to put it on top of his head. This hat was smaller than it should be. I believe I put the hat on the back of his head just to see what it would look like. And uh, it's okay. It just didn't. I think I can do better. But uh, this is the way it looks all the way around. <coughs> I think I'm going to do a little more on his shoulders.
and redo his shirt just a little bit. Sorry you can't see because I got my hand in the way, but... I think that's going to be fine. So I'll work this out in my head overnight and uh, come down here and work on the anatomy of the horse a little bit more because that front leg doesn't look right. And, uh, you know, it's been a while since I worked on that. I'm going to look it up and see how long ago I quit working on this thing. <laughs> this hoof keeps falling off. So I've got to get that solidly on there. And, uh, other, otherwise, this is a, a great idea for a, a action piece and uh, I don't do them too often it's it takes a lot of engineering to uh, do an action piece and uh, it's not fun um, and it's it's very complicated to get the balance and everything like that to work and to make it look like uh, it's real life I decided to go ahead and try to do the hat now I worked out the size for the brim. Now it's just a matter of putting the brim on his head. And I'm going to do that by deciding where I want to put the hat. I'm running into the armature. I kind of figured I would. detail here off of uh, the clay and redo that. I've got to line up the uh, top of the crown to the front of the head and the back of the head and to the sides of the head because you don't want to have the hat the crown of the hat cutting into his head got to fit on its head. I decided it'd be easier to take his head off his shoulders and work on it separate from his uh, body because uh, there isn't much of the armature sticking into the body though. The cowboy in it was uh, just a little too weak to work on it. So I decided to get this set up so I can work on it away from the clay. A lot of this is going to be hard for you to see. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. There we go. I'm afraid the uh, camera's too close to make it focus, so.
I think you see what I'm doing, and I'll have to quit recording it because uh, it's interfering with my ability to do this properly. So, I'll be back in a while. Okay, the hat's coming into shape now. I really couldn't have possibly uh, videoed what I was doing because it's just, I had to have my hands in the way all the time. Okay, now is the time to start putting some character in that hat. Sorry, it's really hard to do this without uh, having my hands in the way. Okay. Now I just need to clean it up a little bit. And I'm being very gentle with it because the armature isn't very long below his neck. And it uh, is weak. And so I've got to be very careful to uh, not knock it out of the uh, contraption here. You can hear the wind outside. It's a, a good strong southerly wind because we're getting a lot warmer now. Again, I didn't have to turn the heat on today. Spring is here. Well, until it decides not to be here, which is not unusual for Montana. I decided to put the sides of his hat up because <coughs> otherwise his face would be completely hidden in shadow. And this way, you get the gist of what his face is like. It's very important to have the front of the brim and the back of the brim match the front of the head and the back of the head. And the side of the brim and the side of the brim match the side of the head. If you don't do that, it'll look really strange. And I gotta make it castable too. I think I'm to the point where I can put this back on his body. I just need to make sure everything is taken care of. What I'm going to do now is do some uh, Ronsonol on it just to get rid of all the rough clay that I've got left over from the uh, action of my sculpting tool. Whoop! There he goes. Okay, I'm using Ronsonol. It has uh, properties in it that uh, causes the uh, clay to soften up. I got to do his ears. I'll do those tomorrow. I'll keep this on the uh, stand for now. Until I get that done. I'm happy the way this hat finally did turn out. Okay. 
So that's on the agenda tomorrow. His ears. Okay, everybody, have a great night. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.